Hello guys! In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can fold a snake on the rock designed by me. The model looks like this. Okay, so as you can see, there is a snake, and uh, it looks like this from behind. This, this fold was folded from uh, Japanese foil paper, which looks like um, this. Okay, so you can buy it in the origami shop. I'll put the link in the video description. And as you can see, you get 100 sheets of paper. So you can fold a lot of models and this paper is just great for color changing models. I showed you some of them in my previous video. Okay, so let's start folding. Okay, so before I start uh, with folding I want to tell you this. If you want to have a um, snake that is gold, you need to start with colored side up. And if you want to have a snake that is white, you need to start with a white side up. But I'm going to use, I want to have gold snake. So now we can start folding. First step is very simple, just fold paper diagonally in half in both directions and also fold it horizontally and vertically in half. Okay. And now Fold horizontally. And vertically. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do something that I call um, unfinished lens base bring this corner to the center of the paper also bring this corner to the center of the paper and also bring this corner to the center of the paper and that's all that's the reason why I don't call it uh, why I call it unfinished blend space it's because I didn't fold this corner to the center center of the paper. Okay, so now unfold that. Now make sure you have the model exactly in this position. Okay? So don't... You shouldn't have it like this. But it needs to be in this position. So you don't going to get confused later. Okay? And now we're going to fold this edge to this middle line, don't fold all the way, but just this part, do the same thing here, so just that part, and now fold this corner to this line, okay, and fold that as well, so now turn your paper in the other, side and now I'm going to make a mouth fold along this crease and you're going to fold it to this line like this. What you can do is also make the mouth fold along this crease and now just bring those two together like that. Okay but don't fold all the way, but stop right here. You see. Okay, now unfold that. And as you can see, we have like one fourth of the fish base. Okay, so now we're going to fold the paper over like this. Find where is intersection between the diagonal and the crease we just made and make the pinch there. 
and now align the edges like this and then make the crease let's unfold that and because we align the edges we got perpendicular line to this edge okay so now you need to do the same thing here in this square you see we have this bigger square and you also need to do it in this smaller square so make the mountain fold along this line and make the mountain fold along this line and now bring those two together Okay, and now finish here and then fold. So now we have something like that, and you basically repeat the same thing. Now fold the paper over, find the intersection pinch there, and now align the edges together. Now it's important that you don't fold the edge to this middle line because that's not what we are aiming for. But make the line perpendicular to this edge starting in this point. Okay, so after you do that, turn over the paper like this. But it's important to turn it over like this and not like this because this model is asymmetrical. Okay. So now, fold this corner to this corner, like that, and now we are going to make valley fold here and valley fold here. So like this and like this, so make sure you don't make the mountain fold here or here. Okay. So hold those two here like that and then try to squash this part down like this as you can see you need to bring those two corners together and now it looks like this from inside and now it fold this up now it's important that you make that this crease that you're going to make ends exactly here. Okay, like that. Okay. So let me just show you that one more time. Now, when you have all the creases, basically fold this down like that. Like that. And then you bring this up. It's a bit tricky to do, but it's not that hard. Just tricky. Okay, so now you're going to fold this edge to this crease now you will put your finger inside here and then squash the paper not like that but uh, like this so make, so make sure you do the squash fold like that you see this edge is exactly where this line is. Okay, after you do that, fold this edge to this crease. Okay, now fold this edge to this edge okay make sure you put this corner to this line 
and then make the crease. Okay, and now you're going to fold, well, you're going to make the line that starts in this point, and then this edge needs to touch. Wait, okay, come on, focus. Okay, so imagine the half of this imaginary line. So that's somewhere here. So this edge needs to touch that half. Okay, and it starts at this point. When you do that, make the crease. Okay, so it's about the half. Okay. And now you're going to do inside the reverse fold here along this line. So you're going to make the modern fold along that crease. And now fold the edge. Do this edge and then flatten. Now make sure you don't do something like this because that's sloppy let me just repeat that fold again okay so I did the reverse fold here okay now it's this is much better now flatten okay so now fold this edge to this line like this okay and now fold this edge to this side of the paper okay and now you need to turn around the paper like this and now make the line that starts in this point and now this corner needs to touch this line so you see like that then make the crease and then fold that now we have something like that, and uh, now we're going to make like a crimp. So the line will start here, and now this corner needs to touch this imaginary line. Now Okay, so just imagine that this line extends, so now this quarter needs to touch it. Okay. So now, you're going to open this a little bit, bring this lap up and now flatten. Make sure you do this nice now. This part is much more easier with the comic paper. Okay, so when you do that, I'm going to fold this corner to this point. You see where this color change ends? Like that. And now fold this edge to this line. Okay. Now make the valley fold along this crease. Now you're going to fold paper like that. And now you're going to align this line with this edge. 
it will be easier if you make another mountain fold here and now you can just bring uh, two edges together but I'll do it this way okay so after you do that I'm going to pull this paper and then just flatten okay now do the reverse fold along this line so you're going to open the paper like this and now make the mountain fold along this line this line and here's the valley fold okay so now we have something like this and now it's the um, trickiest step of the model you're going to kind of pull, pull the paper like this and now you can see we have a valley fold here, another one here, and another one here. So make the valley fold. And here the valley fold, and here the valley fold. And now you're going to kind of flatten this area, and in the same time, you're going to put your finger here and um, make the pinch like that and now try to bring this corner to this one okay it worked it's a bit tricky it'll create a couple of new creases so let me just repeat what I did I opened this part made those valley folds and now you're flattening this part and making another crease here and now bringing this two corners up okay so after you do that you're going to make um, you're going to fold this edge to this line like this then unfold I'm going to fold this flap and make the valley fold that starts in this point you see you, can, you can't go farther than that and now this corner needs to touch the edge like this okay and now fold this edge to this one Okay, so that's going to be the head. Okay, so now I'm going to unfold that and do the reverse fold along this line. So you're going to do it with making the mountain fold along this line and here is the valley fold. Something like this. Okay, and now just repeat the folds you did before. Okay, and now you're going to bring this layer up and fold it over this one. And now slide the head like this. So it was like that. Now I just slided it up and I got something like this. Okay, so now you need to fold this edge to this one. Like this. And now we are basically done. The shaping is left, which is pretty simple you first need to make the valley fold from this point to this point that can be a bit hard with the foil paper so the paper might rip so something like that and now you need to make the mountain fold along that line so what I like to do is unfold this part it's a bit easier 
to work with paper and now I try to make them out the fold. Okay, like this. Okay, so now we need to make the valley fold here about fold about this much, and now from this point to May perhaps this corner needs to touch on this edge and now I just make the mountain fold here and mountain fold along this valley crease as well okay now make the line from this point to this point this and make the mountain fold as well and that's all as you can see we have two snakes now and you can see that it's very simple to fold and yeah uh, so hopefully you have enjoyed this video Please like it, subscribe to my channel, and comment. Um, and yeah, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more videos, and happy folding. Bye.